tennis core is slowly but steadily taking over the internet, one pleated white skirt at a time. Wait, back up. What exactly is tennis core? For people out there who are still trying to wrap their heads around last season's fashion trends, gear up because we're introducing you to a brand new one. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into the trend and how you can nail the look. First things first, the aesthetic doesn't have anything to do with the sport itself. You're probably thinking, well, duh, but that's not stopping us from ranting about the obvious. Tennis court isn't about hitting a neon ball in a straight path. Whether you're athletic or not, it only cares that you pass as someone that has an offshore bank account. The sporty aesthetic is the internet's newest billionaire cosplay attempt, fresh off the trails of Wimbledon and the country club sequences in the summer I turned pretty. Tennis core is rapidly surpassing 100,000 TikTok views, with rival aesthetics like golf core following behind. It joins a plethora of other niche trends that have recently gained popularity for offering proximity to a particular look and lifestyle. Think cottage core, coastal grandmother and garden core and people have been quick to jump on the fad too tennis shoe searches on fashion resale site depop have increased by 15 percent month on month this year while jersey polo shirts and tennis skirts have increased by 7 and 13 percent not to be those people but the effects of tiktok's chokehold on fast fashion have been devastating for mankind but we've got to be real tennis as an aesthetic does hit any differently tennis has become linked with style from the flawless courtside style we see each year at Wimbledon, to Naomi Osaka's 2021 collaboration with Frankie's bikinis, and the recurring variations of the clean uniforms seen in innumerable luxury fashion commercials. While tennis dresses are obviously built around utility, there is something so effortlessly elegant and sophisticated about the paired back sports luxe vibe. It's no surprise that TikTok has jumped on the capsule wardrobe and clean girl style bandwagon. The tennis core palette includes subdued silhouettes and colors as is customary with on-court outfits. Whites, creams, yellows, greens, and blacks all look fantastic against the firm, green clay courts most associated with the sport. Classic workout dresses, ruffled skirts, cotton polos, and visors are also must-haves. Tennis core may rely on this very plain approach to dressing, but the look truly shines in its use of quiet luxury accessories, such as gold watches with ruby bezels, yard-length antique pearl necklaces, and exorbitantly priced designer water bottles. But that luxury may not be as quiet as you think it is. Tennis, like skiing and sailing, has been long associated with the 1%. This may explain why Tennis Core is more concerned with the luxury that comes with the sport that involves clean clothing, water served with tiny fruit cubes, and diamond jewelry. This summer, according to Vogue's Emma Spector, it's all about that second wife energy. And we'd have to agree. Name an attractive woman who doesn't look like she plays tennis on the weekends. While tennis has always influenced the fashion industry, the ultra luxe approach has found increased appeal over the past few months and is one of several glam-centric trends that have emerged in the midst of our present economic downturn. After two quarters of negative GDP growth in the United States, it seems reasonable that people would want to perform luxury through their fashion. Trends like these, especially the ones on TikTok, are always coupled with a sense of delusionment with someone's material conditions, which pushes this aesthetic yearning for a better life. But like we said, tennis-inspired apparel is not a brand new concept. At the outset of the 20th century, the sport, and by extension, its style style was confined to the upper echelons of society, only becoming more democratized when female athletes gained significant media attention. Billie Jean King famously competed in the Battle of the Sexes against Bobby Riggs while wearing hoop earrings and a white mini dress. After Chris Everett's diamond band broke mid-match at the 1987 US Open, the term tennis bracelet became widespread. She paused the game to search for the diamonds, a move that is so, well, tennis core. Fashion industry giants have long embraced the preppy aesthetic, in part because they cater to rich clients, for whom tennis core isn't just a fashion statement, but a way of life. Traditional components of the sport have shown, in both old and contemporary runway designs, rackets, white collared gowns, and sweatbands have all had their fashion week moment. Fast forward to today, brands continue to pull inspiration from the sport. Miu Miu is just the latest It Girl label to embrace the trend, not only in its fall-winter 2022 collection, but also at numerous tennis-themed pop-up events in New York and Saint-Tropez. For the summer, designer Tom Brown also set up his shop in a French coastal town, 
Of course, the aesthetic is a nod to the nicer things in life, ladies who lunch, private clubs, and those triangular bite-sized cucumber sandwiches. It welcomes one's inner capitalist, daring one to dress in ways that only other generational wealth-having, ski chalet-owning, Swiss boarding school-attending aristocrats would comprehend. One pleated white dress isn't enough when it comes to tennis core. The style demands drama and opulence. See none other than tennis core's most die-hard supporter, the late Andre Leon Talley. The former Vogue editor-at-large famously came out of a black town vehicle carrying a Louis Vuitton leather racket box and a monogram towel, only to whack balls clumsily during a morning exercise in the September issue. Tally talked about his approach in a 2009 documentary. I wouldn't come to the tennis court in a pair of shorts and a tennis shirt. I go to Damon Dash for my trousers. I go to Ralph Lauren for the shirts. This is my version of a tennis watch. It's a Piaget from the 60s. He personifies the tennis court lifestyle. If you're still unsure, simply add the gospel, according to Andre, to your watch list. Now, moving on to other news. First off, tennis court isn't the only aesthetic making headlines these days. Today's TikTok trends all express the same same story, or maybe fairy tale is the right term for it. People are ready to resume their most fanciful, rich, and leisurely lives after the lockdown. It all really started with the cottage core aesthetic. You probably remember the prairie dress wearing, homemade sourdough baking, Taylor Swift folklore listening period of COVID, which rapidly gave way to the current coastal granny who prefers heirloom tomatoes, breathable linens, and well, more knit cardigans. This year, however, the two fads have cross-pollinated, resulting in an even more mystical, ethereal, and lush hybrid. Garden Court encourages not just pausing to smell the flowers or heirloom tomatoes, but also getting your hands dirty in the garden that you strongly and independently manage. Most of this was inspired by living at the peak of COVID-19. During the epidemic, we were forced to be still, which brought out a lot of self-awareness and how we live, including the clothing, cosmetics, and foods we consume. We spent more time in nature, enjoying the basic pleasures of life. Obviously, this affected everyone's interests, and therefore the TikTok trends we saw emerge online. But Garden Core isn't as bleak as we're making it sound right now, really. The core value, pun intended, shared by all Garden Core girls is the capacity to have fun. Why else would she be a mashup of everyone's favorite childhood characters? We've seen the collective culture approach beauty in a fresh new way in recent years. There has been a move away from conventional beauty standards and towards more artistic expression. Fairy Core and Garden Core approach beauty in a much lighter, more playful manner, bringing magic magic and escape into the everyday. And this persona in particular being nurtured is by no means a coincidence. Garden Core and its sister aesthetics disrupt traditional beauty standards and societal expectations that have been imposed on women for ages. Historically, the beauty industry has been restricted by trends and norms that have taught women who they should be and how they should look. We noticed that whimsical garden animals and magical beasts have subsequently grown into emblems for unrestricted self-expression, which explains their ubiquity in garden core aesthetics. In reality, the movement has evolved into a safe haven for women to redefine and reclaim beauty, style, and joy on their own terms, free from the oppressive male gaze. Garden core is delicate, feminine, and uncomplicated. It requires little effort, yet it is incredibly beautiful. It's about literally taking in nature's splendor, and all while adhering to just yours and the forest's rules. Lastly, siren eyes is another trend that has TikTok under its spell. TikTok is literally encouraging us to be creative with makeup, as evidenced by the alluring aesthetic, which is the newest beauty trend to go viral after lip wings and W blush. Bold eye makeup has returned with a fury in this post-euphoria era, with black eyeliner sales increasing by 86% in June and July, according to customer statistics from Klarna. Smoky siren eyes are the ideal makeup look for capturing the attention of the social platform. But what exactly is a siren's eye? According to beauty artist Molly Thompson Tabriti, the siren eye is an enhanced take on both the cat eye and fox eye eyeliner styles. The idea is to make the eyes appear more seductive rather than doe eyes, which are softer. However, some beauty experts say that the look is more than a passing fad. Siren Siren eyes give off a certain aura. Yes, there's a soft, smoky, 360-degree liner with a horizontal wing, but siren eyes are about stepping into your sensuality and strength, feeling, and radiating confidence when you enter a room. It has a strange, come-hither aspect about it. That's a wrap for this video. Have you been obsessed with the summer trend lately? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.